my name is Jace Wolf. Uh, I'm an audiologist. I'm the director of audiology and research at the Hearts for Hearing Foundation in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I've worked with individuals with cochlear implants for 22 years. My first year um, was 1997. So I've had the benefit and the pleasure and opportunity of seeing amazing advances in the technology and um, unbelievable improvements in the outcomes of recipients of that technology over the last two decades. There, over the last um, three to four years, have um, been some just fantastic research studies that have been published in peer-reviewed journals examining the benefits of early implantation or cochlear implantation prior to one year of age in a large number of children with, with hearing loss. And um, the results of these studies are, are extremely compelling. Um, one of the, the largest studies with several hundred children that's conducted um, in Australia called the Longitudinal Outcomes of Children with Hearing Impairment Study. It's a federally funded study where they're following children um, from the point at which they're identified with hearing loss during their first few months or first couple of years of life all the way up to the point at which they're 25 years of age. And so serially, they'll look at their outcomes with speech and language and their auditory outcomes and their literacy outcomes and their, their educational outcomes, eventually even their, their vocational outcomes and their social and pragmatic outcomes. And one of the most important factors, what the, this study is, is examining is not just the outcomes of children with hearing loss, but the different factors that really influence um, the outcomes that children achieve. And one of the most important um, findings or factors that the Lockheed researchers have identified uh, that influences the outcome children achieve with their language progress is the age at implantation. And in particular, what they've shown is that for every six month delay that occurs in implantation, there's a one half or standard deviation reduction in their language outcomes. Oftentimes we will hear families say, you know what, I would prefer to let my child make that decision when they're older. And we know there's a critical window of language development, of speech and language development. We've known that for years. When I came through graduate, uh, gra graduate school over 20 years ago, um, I was always told that that critical period of language development was about three to four years of age, um, implying that if we would get a cochlear implant to a child by three years of age, we would be okay. Now we know that every moment within that critical period or that critical window of language development counts and matters. Um, and if we implant a child really early, we're going to provide that child with access to intelligible speech. We're gonna reach the auditory areas of their brain um, so that those areas can be stimulated and they can start uh, forming synapses uh, across neurons in those areas and form neural networks across the entire brain so that when the brain is stimulated with sound, it's not just a sound, but it comes to life and has meaning. 